Today, the 17th of May, is World Hypertension Day. If you think hypertension is something that only happens to other people, then I'm here to tell you that 46% of women and 44% of men in South Africa alone have hypertension. But with a balanced diet and regular health checkups, you can substantially reduce your chances of being affected. And to get us kick-started on our health journey, Palisa visited Discovery Vitality's Healthy Food Studio in Santon to be inspired by some deliciously healthy dishes we can all incorporate into our daily menus. Take a look. Think of yourself or someone close to you. It could be your best friend, your parents, partner or even a sibling. Statistically speaking, yourself or that person could have hypertension. That's one in every two people. Really scary statistics. Well, that's why I've been invited out to the Discovery Vitality Healthy Food Studio in Santon, where I get to sit down with the experts and find out how I can make healthier options to live a longer and fuller life. We've always known the importance of being aware of hypertension, but I've never known how prevalent it was in South Africa. Why do you think the stats are so high? Balissa, hypertension is not only a local health challenge, it's actually a global health problem. According to stats from the WHO, sadly, 1.28 billion people between the ages of 30 years old and 79 years old are diagnosed with hypertension. What is even more concerning is almost 50% of people who are living with hypertension are not even aware of it. Hence, it's known as the silent killer. We're not eating as healthy as we should. We're not active as we should be. Things like obesity, smoking and alcohol abuse are on the rise and they're contributing to the prevalence of hypertension. I always like to say prevention is better than cure. So how can we go about preventing hypertension? In Vitality, we incentivize our members to go and screen for things like blood pressure and diabetes through the annual health check. Our members are incentivized with points, but they also maximize their healthy food discount if they go and get their health check done. So in the Vitality program, we provide our members with discounted access to gyms and wearable devices. We also provide our members with access to active lifestyle communities through park runs and team vitality. And this completely, completely adds value to our members' well-being and reduces their risk of hypertension. Terry, as a dietitian, I'm sure you hear so many fads and myths about food and there seems to be a cancel culture coming up every day when it comes to the ingredients to use in the kitchen. But let's strip it down to basics. What do we need to be doing? The reality is the messages are still very clear and simple and it's three of them. So the first thing is try load up on plant foods. And what we mean by plant foods, it's your vegetables and fruits, as well as your beans, lentils, chickpeas, all of those legumes, and your nuts and seeds. Good old peanut butter, a handful of almonds, any of those. So those are the really healthy food groups we really need to be bringing into our diet many times a day. The second aspect you really have to be careful of is too much animal saturated fat, um, too much salt, which we know is obviously very topical being uh, around hypertension, and, and also too much sugar. So the third thing to do is introduce flavor with lovely healthy fats like avocado, olive oil, canola oil, and add in those fresh lovely flavors from herbs and spices. But if we were to look at superfoods specifically around hypertension, what does that look like? These superfoods, these healthy foods are healthy for everybody no matter what condition you have if you're trying to prevent a condition or manage it so again it says fruit and veg no matter what age you are no matter what condition you, you're dealing with load those fruit and veg numerous times during the day as well as those bean, beans lentils chickpeas our legumes um, and our nuts and seeds and peanut butter absolutely great foods Wow, Terry, it seems as if the information around hypertension is quite extensive. But now I think it's time to put this theory into practical use in the kitchen behind you. Let's go meet the chef. Thank you so much for having me. I feel absolutely privileged to be getting my personal masterclass here at the Healthy Food Studios. But do you want to tell me what will we be making today? So, Pelly, today we're making a fragrant butternut masaman curry. What makes this dish perfect for hypertension? Uh, Pelly, this dish ticks all the boxes for people suffering with hypertension. First of all, it's got all the color, and, and the fact that we're also going into the colder periods now, this is gonna spark ideas of what to eat during the, the winter periods, yeah. Let's get cooking.
Thank you so much to you and the Discovery Vitality team. Today I've truly learned all about nutrition, how to prepare the food and how it impacts on my life. I can't wait to implement this daily. Pali, it's been fun and fantastic having you in the studio. Good luck with the cooking. Well, there you have it. Get those fruits and veggies into your diet all the way from breakfast through to dinner. And if you do need any extra inspiration or guidance on how to make your home menu a little healthier, why not sign up for an in-person class at the Discovery Vitality Healthy Food Studio? And you can have a brilliant chef like Chef Derek cook along with you, give it a bash, and kickstart your journey to a happier and healthier life today.